Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, today is uh, March 16th and we finally got a nice blue sky day in Idaho. I'm out at Settlers Park uh, and I've got the little Autel Evo Nano Plus. Uh, temperature wise, it's about 45 degrees, a little bit of wind, gusts up to 11 miles an hour. I think it said four miles an hour sustained. That feels about right. There's a little bit of a breeze. Uh, but anyway, good day to fly, I guess is what I'm saying. And we haven't had those days for a while. So uh, I'm happy to get the little uh, Nano Plus out to fly it. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to fly this guy is I haven't flown it since, gosh, I think it was last December. And I recently published a video and I had problems with video quality with this guy. Started recording before I took off, which is a thing, you can do it. It starts on a lower resolution and as soon as you take off, it switches to a higher resolution video. In my case, it didn't do it. Uh, and in fact, uh, even after I took off and, and flew for a while, the first segment of video stayed on that low resolution. I did some intelligent flight modes and stuff and then it switched into 4K, looked pretty good. Took it out, did some other things, did some panoramas and some other things, and uh, started recording again. And that file was in low resolution as well. So I don't know what's up with that. I want to take it out and make sure that it's not something I'm going to see on this drone all the time. The point of it is you have to be able to count on the video quality from your drone. I couldn't tell from looking at the FPV feed that it was in a low quality. So. Uh, anyway, I'm hoping that that was just a one-off and it was just something that, that happened that day. I'm also going to say uh, my friend Tanya Gale of Tanya Gale Adventures, she bought a new Nano Plus and she's been having nothing but problems with it, uh, gimbal issues and stuff, shaky video and so forth. So uh, in any case, uh, the little Nano Plus, this guy has been, I'm going to say, a challenge for me over the past year or so. But that said, I really like the drone. I like the features of the drone. I like the quality that this video camera, when, it, when this camera is working like it should, it takes amazing video for a little mini drone. So uh, anyway, like I said, we got a nice sunny day. Let's take a tour around Settlers Park here and, uh, and see what we get on video quality with uh, the Autel Evo Nano Plus. Uh, give me just a second and we'll get this bird in the air. Okay, we're ready to take off here. Uh, I had trouble getting the drone, the app to connect. I don't know what happened. I restarted everything uh, and then it connected to the app okay. So I, that's, uh, that's kind of an odd thing. Uh, but uh, let's take a look at the uh, safety menu here. Uh, we've got uh, max altitude at 120 meters, no limit. 36 meters on return to home altitude, so that's good. So we're good to go there. Again, uh, we are going to uh, wait to uh, uh, start video until we take off. So let's quit messing around. Let's, uh, let's do an automated takeoff here. So there's the little drone and I like seeing those sensors working like they should. So now let's go into the uh, menu here. 30 frames per second, I want to shoot in HDR. And why, oh not available in pro mode? Well I thought I was in auto so I don't know maybe I need to, we're 4K 30 frames per second, let's start recording. And it is in auto. There's there's pro mode. I've got it in auto. Let's go back into that. Well, <laughs> uh, so <clears throat> I can't go back into that other menu. So uh, auto focus. We are in auto. Let's stop recording. Let's go back in there. See if we can switch into HDR. There we got it. It took it that time. So there we go. So let's start recording again. And again, we're, uh, we're in full auto, so uh, just wanted to point that out. Uh, so yeah, let's turn it around and let's see it. Uh, obstacle avoidance, we're going to leave it on, so, uh, and we're looking into the sun right now. And man, what I'm really happy about 
is how well uh, the sensors are working on this drone. Now, I don't, I don't know if you guys remember, that was one of the problems I had with it was uh, that the sensors, particularly that bottom sensor, had a lot of problems. And it's perfectly accurate. If you look in the center of the screen, it says 1.2 meters off the ground. If you look in the attitude indicator there in the bottom left, it's saying that it's 1.2 meters high. So that agrees perfectly. It didn't do that before. Uh, so let me see if I can bring it in at all. And I can't, yeah, okay, it's moving a little bit. Let's bring it up here a little and see if we can bring it into the camera. Yeah, we're not, that's probably about as close as we're gonna get it, because it's, uh, the obstacle avoidance is not letting it do that. And I wanted to show you how that gimbal worked, rocking it back and forth. Tip it back, that, that camera looks down, tip it forward, and it's not gonna tip forward because of obstacle avoidance. But if it did, that camera would look up. Okay, I am going to move the drone around here, and we're gonna do our, we're gonna do our droney. And, you know, uh, there's, there's a building right behind us here, so uh, I'm going to have to uh, hit it pretty hard uh, on the up stick to, uh, to get above that. But, in fact, let's turn the camera around here so you get a direct look at it. So, on my FPV screen, it's looking really good. Uh, and so, hopefully, we are shooting in 4K video right now. And by the way, we are on autofocus as well, just for your information. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, and do our droney. So reverse and up now, reverse and up. And I'm hitting hard on that up stick so we can get above that building and those trees there. But yeah, we did okay. Uh, I was wa I'm watching the drone directly. That's not nearly as, as close as what it uh, appeared there. So you can kind of see where I'm at here in the park. Let's just go, let's just go out here a ways. We're kind of heading out into the middle of the park. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's get it up to about 35 meters high and we'll hold right there. Full reverse. How fast are we going? We're at about uh, 8 meters per second, 7.8. Yeah, there we hit 8 for a second in normal mode. So let's stop right there for a second and give you a look at the, uh, at the ball fields here. So this end of Settlers Park is all about these uh, ball fields. So uh, yeah, there, you know, a lot of, lot of softball goes on here. So let's kind of just take a look around. And we're in standard mode. And yeah, now it's up to 10 meters per second, which is top speed in that standard mode. That's how fast it's supposed to go. But let's kind of ease on around that building that you see uh, right kind of in the center of the screen right now is the park maintenance building. And as we, uh, as we move around here, uh, you can see, whoops, sorry about that uh, quick yaw. We had a little bit of, I saw on uh, the screen there, on the FPV screen, a, uh, a forward uh, collision warning. Well, you know what? We pointed right at the sun, so I'm going to give it a pass on that. That can happen. But anyway, uh, you can see all these ball fields here. This place gets really busy. And we're kind of pointed into the sun now, so you're not getting the best picture in the world. But uh, I just, I want to show you this. And, and you know, they got some kind of uh, additional parking here, which uh, surely they need when they get a bunch of, uh, and this is just a dirt parking lot, when they get a bunch of people out here uh, playing ball, you know, it's, uh, this place gets pretty busy. So boy, I'll tell you what, I was, I, I was moving sideways there and it started slow and picked up fast. Okay, let's pick up that camera just a little bit. And there I got another uh, obstacle avoidance forward nose warning there uh, and again it's kind of facing into the sun so uh, I'll definitely give it a pass there and uh, then you can kind of take a look at uh, at where I'm standing here I'm gonna bring the drone down as we as we bring it back I am full stick forward and full down on the stick and yeah about seven meters per second it's uh, when you do two stick endpoints in other words ascending or descending and then uh, pitching forward or back, 
it definitely affects the to total speed of this drone. Let me drop, drop the camera down as we get closer here. You can see where I'm standing there, kind of off on the uh, right hand side. Okay, let's pick that camera up again. And you know, this drone actually, it's, it makes some noise, you know. I'm used to, uh, you know, some of the drones are getting pretty darn quiet. This guy makes a little bit of noise. So that is U-Stick Avenue there that we're kind of right next to. Let's grab some more altitude here and uh, we can head this direction. We've got uh, tennis courts and pickleball courts over here. So let's head that way. I do not see anybody out there, so I think we're kind of safe to, uh, to go over the top. I don't see anybody playing. Dropping the camera down a little bit. Tennis courts here. And then you'll see these smaller ones right kind of next to it here. Those are pickleball courts. And this was the first place that I saw this park was, I, I think, the first, I believe it's the first, has been the first Meridian Park to have pickleball courts. That's so popular. And you see, I see somebody out there, some people playing out there right now. Uh, and let's, uh, let's move around here, and we're not going to go over the top of it, but that is quite a uh, children's play area that they got going there. Uh, lots of... Uh, well, it's kind of like a it, it, it's kind of like a castle, but again, it's one of those areas that has that kind of rubberized material on it, so that even if the kids fall, they're they're falling on a pretty soft uh, surface there. And uh, yeah, anyway, it's kind of you know they got a lot of stuff for them to climb on and so forth. Let's turn around here, <clears throat> and this. I don't know, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what this tank is, whether it's a, a, something for the water system or the sewer system or who knows what, uh, but I, it is part of the, uh, part of the city's uh, system, but I'll be darned if I know what it's for. Pretty uh, uh, diverse park here with a lot, of, uh, a lot of different things all in one spot. And you can see this is a pretty, pretty good sized park. They designed it uh, for, to get a lot of use. And again, particularly uh, as a ball field, it's, uh, it, gets, it gets used a lot. I mean, the, the softball tournaments are numerous. Let's move sideways, get out of the way of that sidewalk and move forward here. And, uh, and we can kind of drop down uh, lose some altitude here and get a good look. I see some people, I don't want to go over the top of anybody here, but uh, so we'll be careful about that. But the, uh, the fishing pond here, they stock these with fish and I think it's so cool. The neighborhood kids uh, can come, come down here and uh, drop a line in and, and uh, catch a fish. I just think that's, that is such an awesome feature of the city parks here that they keep these, uh, keep these stocked with fish. Usually you'll see some ducks here, but I don't see any right now. Kind of ease around here. So then you got this big open area here. So you'll see uh, often uh, football games or uh, soccer tournaments and stuff out here. They'll put the lines out and, and put up the uh, goal posts and, and, uh, and, and play uh, youth soccer very very popular okay let's uh let's go ahead and and uh put this guy into uh ludicrous mode and i'm going to confirm and it says 15 meters per second let's make sure that and that shuts off obstacle avoidance i want to make sure that when we are in that mode that we have uh that we have speed priority and you can see right there speed priority is selected video priority slows it down so what they're saying is in speed priority that the the gimbal could kick down right so we know that 
we're, we're aware of that, so we're good. Let's get out of there and go back in. So we are in ludicrous mode. We should be able to get up to 15 meters per second. Let's hit that stick full forward right now and see how fast this guy goes. There's 10, 11, 13, well now back slowing down a little bit. And we'll go back the other way down to about 11 meters per second. There, back up to 13. Yeah, okay. Let's stop right here and turn around and go back the other direction and see, uh, see what we can uh, get up to speed wise. right over the uh, pitcher's warm-up uh, area there. Okay, full stick forward. And let's see if we can get it going a little bit faster this direction. I'm not exactly sure the wind direction, but yeah, no, it's about the same. So it's, it's gonna be about 13 meters per second. Or a little less really really no difference in speed coming this direction okay let's do something a little bit different uh, fast yaw here in in ludicrous mode let's get over to the this end of the park and turn around and we'll come back this way and obviously we're not going to go too far here but uh, full stick forward and let's see how, what it'll do This is due south. Yeah, and it's even slower yet at about not even 10 meters per second. You saw the gimbal kick there a little bit, and I'm sure that's because it was going into the wind. Let's turn around again. And let's go back the other way, and let's see if we can get some more speed. I'm gonna go sideways here a little bit, grab some altitude. Let's kind of get over this. Uh, street here so we can keep going forward maybe if we want to so full stick forward and let's see what we're doing here yeah it's faster there's 14 15 yeah 15.1 so we get we had the wind at our back there so we got out to that uh, 15 meters per second that uh, that they say we're supposed to be able to get in ludicrous mode where are we at? We're down to 35% battery. I'm going to go back into normal mode. That was smooth mode. Standard mode, they call it. Doggone it. Okay. We'll, uh, let's drop this guy down a little bit as we, uh, as we come back. Maybe we can uh, go over here. There's a flagpole over here. Maybe we can See if we can get a little rotation over the flagpole. So we have been uh, recording for about almost 14 minutes now. And that kind of goes along with And we, we kind of had a little bit of a false start there when I was uh, messing around trying to get it into HDR. Uh, so you can add a little time on that. But you know, uh, flight wise, and of course, you, you saw me here. Gosh darn it! It's it's weird. I, I got I was giving it stick input there, and uh, it wasn't moving forward. So I let off the stick. You know, was concerned that maybe uh, I had a, a frozen FPV feed, but I don't think I did. Okay, let's see if we can. We're just in uh, uh, standard mode here. Let's kind of just do a little rotation around the flag. That's always fun. I think get a good look at Old Glory, and, and that gives us an idea of which way that wind was blowing too, doesn't it? So if we're going this way, we're going with the wind. Okay, let's go out here, and then we're going to kick this guy into uh, return to home. In fact, let's move it out this way. I see they got some machinery coming down the street there. I don't want to mess with them. And we had our return home set at 35 meters, so I'm going to drop down low so that we can actually watch this guy uh, go up to its return to home height. So uh, 
I'm going to hit uh, return to home on the controller. And it took it, and it says returning home now. So, yeah, it's kicking right up to its uh, return to home height. 35 meters, there it goes. It should flip around and head our direction now. And it did. did. Uh, let's see, we are at 21% battery, so that's about right. I, I try to, you know, we're at, uh, yeah, it says aircraft battery is low. Please return home. Yeah, we were already doing that. Uh, you know, if you, if you can shut down at, uh, at 20% battery remaining, I think that's helpful for the life of your batteries. You know, I don't always do it, but I, but I oft, often uh, try to, depending on what I'm doing. So this guy, I don't like where it's coming down here. We're going to, yeah, we're going to pause right there. Yeah, that was me going up. Let's bring this guy back towards us a little bit. It was, uh, it, I didn't like it. Uh, it was kind of coming down, I, and I couldn't see every little tree branch there, so. I was a little bit concerned. Okay, let's see if we can get it right on the pad here. Move it forward just a tad, and again, I'm in normal mode. Okay, so we're right over the H. Let me, uh, let me see, I'm gonna hold the left stick straight down. Should pick up the camera here. Maybe, yeah, there it did. Boom, and we're right on the H. One of the things that I really like that Autel does is as soon as the drone lands, it quits recording. That way you never have a corrupted video file. So uh, let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey guys, the Autel Evo Nano Plus. Uh, you guys will have already seen the video, so uh, I'm hoping it's good. Uh, but that was the point of this video, for me at least, is I wanted to uh, make sure that I didn't have any more of those uh, low res videos. I waited until I took off before I started recording. So it had really, there was no reason for it to ever be in that little uh, low res category that it starts in if you start recording on the ground. Uh, I, I had a little trouble getting it into HDR. I don't know what that was about, but we did finally get it into HDR. I also uh, had an issue when I first started I couldn't get it to connect to the app. I had to shut everything down, restart it again, and it finally connected. Have no idea what that was about. Checked all the USB connections, everything was good, uh, so I'm not sure what all that was about. Uh, however, it was a nice flight. I think we, uh, uh, you know, got a little bit of a tour of the park. You got to see the uh, original uh, pickleball courts. You got to see the tennis courts over there, and uh, you know, just some of the features that this park has to offer, including I think that fishing pond, so cool for kids. Uh, however, we also uh, checked out the speed of the drone. In normal mode, it got up to 10 meters per second, no problem. It's kind of weird. I, I just don't think that Autel allows the drone to pitch as far as some other drones. Say, for instance, the, the uh, DJI Mini 3, the way the gimbal is set up on it, it can pitch further forward and that gimbal can still look straight ahead. I'm just saying that because it's a consideration, right? Uh, probably wind resistance is the bigger consideration. And you saw as we were flying back and forth, man, going into the wind, this guy really struggled. And, it, and it, even at one point there when we were in ludicrous mode, we did get a little gimbal kick there. Uh, but then when we turn it around with the wind at its back, it got up to that 15 meters per second, a little bit higher than, which it's, it's at, that's its advertised top speed. So yeah, I'm good with that. So I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, look at this video. And yeah, the little Autel Evo Nano Plus. Uh, I, I like this little drone. See you guys later. Bye now.